I'm Matt with E-Trailer. If you're looking for a set of chains that are really easy to get on and off your tires and are going to last you a long time, then the POX Servo tire chains are a great choice. And we're going to have them on our tire size 21560R17. And we're going to have this on the front axle as what the manual recommends. Now, if you're not sure if this is going to fit your tire, you can actually plug in your vehicle's information into our fit guide to find if this is going to be the correct fit for you. The POAG servos are going to have these square link design links. And what's nice about this is this is what's going to give you a lot of bite through ice and snow to get you through those moderate snow and ice conditions. We're also going to have this raised surfaces on the link itself just for a little bit of additional traction there too. And if you notice, these aren't super large links. They're relatively pretty low profile to our tires, which is going to give us plenty of room to sit back here so they don't make contact with our suspension. And we're going to have this diamond pattern on the tire itself. And what this is doing is giving us a little bit more coverage on our tires. So we're going to get more traction and this is really going to help when we're even making those turns. Here in the center, we're going to have these coated links. And one of the benef benefits of having these coated links is if it were to ever make contact with our rim, which it's right above there right now, it's going to be less likely to scratch anything up. If we look right next to that too, we're going to have our self-tensioning device. And what's nice about self-tensioning chains is they're constantly applying pressure when you drive them down the roads, and it's going to give you a lot more peace of mind. Not mentioning it's going to be a lot easier to install too. And as how they stack up to other chains are probably going to be some of the more premium options out there. And these chains in particular come in a pretty nice case too. I'd probably consider this one of the more premium cases I've had my hands on. And what's nice about this or what I like about it in particular is two reasons or two things. This is pretty flat, really easy to store. And when I open it up, it really cinches this down pretty well. But we have this divider. And having a divider in with your chains is going to help them from getting tangled up together because if you have to get these out on a snowy day and you have to untangle them first, that's not going to be a fun day for you. But in my opinion, I think these are great if you are looking for that easier installation. And let's face it, if you're in a situation where you have to use these, you don't want to spend a lot of time getting underneath here and put them on. That's the nice thing about these is I can install these from the front side without getting underneath my vehicle. Now, if you do like these, but you want to look at some other options, I'd also recommend the Koenig self-tensioning tire chains. They're going to work very similar to these, but what I like more about this is instead of having to pull on a cord, I just pull or switch a lever over and this tightens automatically. Now, if you're curious to see what that installation process looks like, just stay tuned and we'll walk you through it. To start off the installation, I'm going to lay out my chains and grab some gloves just to make this a bit easier. Now, if you are doing this for the first time, I recommend staying at home and trying this out because you don't want to have to try to figure this out on the side of the road in the middle of a blizzard. So what we're looking for here is checking to see if we have any damages to our links and to make sure nothing's twisted up. I also want to make sure this is in the right orientation. So we want to make sure that this gray cable is closest to our tire and nothing's connected quite yet here in the center. If that looks good, then we can start installing this. So what I'm gonna do first is push everything to the relative sides and push this behind our tire. Once we've done that, we'll just push it around so everything looks good. You can tell nothing's gonna get caught behind here and then we can start making our first connection. The first connection is gonna involve me just lifting up on this cord and coming behind our tire. And what we're trying to do is get this hook inside of here in this opening like that till it grabs on. Now this can be a little bit tricky sometimes, so just make sure you have a good grip on that and drape the rest of the chain over and we're going to make this front connection. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that these hooks 
are going to be facing, oops, move that a bit, these hooks are going to be facing out because we don't want them facing and making contact with their tire. If they are making contact with your tire, you have to flip this around. And making this connection on the front side is just slipping this link through that hook. I like to check if the back side is still feeling good, make sure it didn't disconnect. That can happen sometimes with these chains. It still feels pretty good back there. Now I'm just gonna to come to the bottom and make the connection at this point. And that's just gonna be pushing this red kind of contraption with this silver bar in there with this hook, just like that. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna come up here to the tightening device. And right now we have it in the open position. You can tell because this tab here is closest to open. We wanna put it in the drive, so I'm just gonna twist that. I just wanna cinch everything down. And it's not a bad idea just to pull on this some or just pull on certain parts of your chains. And it's gonna really tighten this up a bit. If you like the way that feels, you can repeat this process on the other side. Afterwards, I strongly recommend either pulling forward or backing up some because what that's gonna do is shift your chains around and cinch everything together. But if it feels pretty good, you can take it out for a ride. Well, that'll do it for a look at the installation and some of the features of the PWAG Servo tire chains on our 2024 Hyundai Kona. I'm Matt, thanks for watching.